Hey, hey, peeps. It's Amber. We're back with more Cat Lady Chapter 6. And we are trying to figure out who that um, person is for Mitzi. Since Brian doesn't own a car, every day he rides his bicycle to get to work. It's not just his pride and joy, but also his only means of transportation. I bet he'd be gutted if something happened to it. As much as I'd want to, the noise would only alarm him. I'm sure I can think of a better way to get back at Brian. I can hear someone walking inside Brian. He's definitely in. No, I don't want to talk to him. There must be other, some other way we can get inside and check if he's who we're looking for. I'd really like to teach him a lesson. Show him I'm not someone he should be messing with. How funny would that be if the crank went missing? He probably wouldn't even notice until the very last minute when he's all ready to leave for work with no time to spare. Okay, so I'm going to go back... to my flat to see if there's anything in the apartment I can get. Okay, it's not going to let me. I think I heard something. No, it was probably just my imagination. I guess they're not in. That's great. I'd never liked them much. Can you unlock this door for us? Let's see. Blimey. You don't see these very often. This is a very special lock. It would take someone much more skilled than me to open it. Great. I thought you were an expert. I am. But this lock is just... beyond me. Why would anyone need one of these here? They must have something to hide. Is there any other way we can get inside, then? Well, not unless we can find some plastic explosives or a pneumatic grill. Or a key. Yeah, because I'm sure there's a key lying around here somewhere. Well, what can I say, my friend? Let's try to think positive. Okay. I'm gonna go to the ground floor. Hello. You live on the first floor, am I right? Yes, that's correct. Flat two. And you're Susan Ashworth, I presume. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Is something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing, but it's become unbearable lately. This can't be sanitary for people living here. And I'm sure it's not allowed by the council either. Are the cats bothering you? Yes, they are actually. They usually stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time, actually. Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last month, your cats seem to reside permanently on my floor. 
And that sofa, my god. They're always gathered round it like it's their shrine. It was Morrison's responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. And a whole load of other rubbish, too. Okay, that's not my fault, really, is it? But you encourage cats to come here. You feed them. Everyone knows that. Every time I take William for a walk, he gets upset and tries to chase them away. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? I didn't say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? I'm beginning to wonder if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down, the wretched things. They're noisy. They leave germs all over the place. They've scratched upholstery and the paintwork. And William keeps chasing them. He's so quick, I can't handle him most of the time. What if he runs off and gets lost? I'm telling you, we've never had such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. Look, they're not my cats. You're Susan Ashworth, the cat lady. We all know what you do. Everyone's sick of those cats, and I am too. Brian said he will get in touch with animal control if things don't improve. He already did. Really? Well, I certainly don't see any improvement on first floor. It's still completely overrun by these filthy creatures. He'll have to talk to them again. I hear they've run out of business recently. Then he'll have to find another one. This is just not good enough. Who's William? William is my dog, of course. He's 12 years old, you know. He shouldn't be running after cats at his age. Well, maybe you should keep him on a leash. I have to go now. See you later. There's nothing useful inside, just piles and piles of leaflets. I could push that cabinet out of the way, but I don't really want to be seen. If only we could get rid of this old witch somehow. <laughs> Looks heavy. I think there is meant to be a storage place for cleaning products based on junk mail. Those who have lived in this house as long as me will know there's actually a door to the basement behind it. No one goes down there anymore. It's not safe, apparently. Someone put freshly picked flowers in a vase to brighten up this grim looking hall. They're like a bunch of roses on a long forgotten crate. Maybe you will forgive flowers, Mrs. A. Maybe. Or maybe not. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push it. Don't worry, Mrs. A. Could have happened to anyone. I'll clean it in a minute. But please, be more careful in the future, yes? You be more careful, nosy old witch. Take a piece of the glass. No mail for Susan Ashworth. Surprise, surprise. All other compartments are locked. It's a communal mailbox that holds all tenants' mail in separately locked compartments. This guy is hiding here in this house. There's no reason to go outside. So that's it. There's nothing else on the first floor. The 
the cat seem attracted to it, but why? It's just an old sofa. The Morrisons left it here when they moved out. There are some stitches on it and they look fresh. Has it been mended recently? From flat one, we apologize for cluttering the hall. The removal company has been called and they will collect sofa and a chair soon. We're sorry for the inconvenience, but we're sure you can put up with these few times, few items for a bit longer, just like we'd put up with your dog for all these years, Morrison's. Only silence. It's locked. Would you like to try your famous lock picking skills on this lock here? Let's see. Should I even face it? A young child could open this lock with a piece of wire. That's fantastic. Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. Do you mind? No, sure. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. We have entered the first flat. Alright, well, I'm going to end it here. On our next video, we will see what we find. Peace out, peeps.